In this video, we'll be finding the general term of these following sequences. The first one is 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Well, we can see wh where this is going. It's just going to be adding 1 every time, and so on. So the way I like to do these is to start with this first term. You don't have to do it this way, but I, I like to do this. I start with the first term. So we're, we're saying this, this general uh, term, b sub n, that, that n has no uh, mathematical or operational value. It's just counting which term it is. So it's, um, it's the nth term in the sequence. So the nth term, whether it be the first or the second or, th or third and so on. So the first term, this is n equals 1 and then 2 and then 3 and so on. Okay, the first term is 5. So we're starting right there, 5. And then what are we doing to that? Well, we're adding 1 every time. We're adding 1 times times, well, we're not just adding 1. We can't just say that the nth term is just 6, because that doesn't hold for all of these. So it's 1 times n, the nth term. Let's see, how does this work? Well, this is the second term. If we add 1 on the second term, and if I plug in a 2 here for the, the second term, and I'm just add, I just want to add 1. Well, I have to subtract 1 right there. So what I'm doing there is making this entire thing equal to 1, right? 2, the, the second term, this is this, is the second term. 2 minus 1 is just 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. So I get 5 plus 1 is 6. What happens if I say b sub um, 4, the fourth term, that's 8, is the fourth term. Well, that equals 5 plus 1 times 4, now, because we're, we're plugging in for n here, 4 minus 1. Does it work out? Let's see, 5 plus 1 times 3. It sure does. 5 plus 3 is 8. That works. So this is going to be our general term for the nth term. Now, you could rewrite this. Of course, you don't need the 1 multiplier. So you could just say 5 plus n minus 1. And then you could further simplify that, because this is just 5 plus n minus 1. And you could drop those, those parentheses completely, really, uh, because, because this is just addition. So you could say 5 minus 1. So that's 4. So And we'll, we'll write the n first. So n plus 4. So the the general term is n plus 4. So that's how you get that. If there are other ways to write these, these general terms, but, but uh, that works. I'll go a little faster in this next one. 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16. What's happening there? Well, we're multiplying by negative 2 every time. So I'm going to start again with 2. And then we're going to be multiplying by times, not adding, but multiplying by negative 2. But this time, instead of uh, saying the minus 1 down down here, we're, we have to have it up in the, in the exponent because we're saying negative 2 beca because it's multiplying. Um, uh, and, and exponents show repeated multiplication. So we've got n. Now again, am I going to be multiplying by n, where this is the first term and this is the second term? Well, we want to be multiplying by n minus 1. And it does take some trial and error. You might be saying, hey, you sure you're getting it, but how do, I, how do I get it for myself? It does take trial and error, absolutely. You have to kind of play with these and, and think about it. Okay, I'm plugging in 2. If I want to plug in to get this second term, um, I want to plug in 2 for n. Does it work? Well, 2 times negative 2 to the 2 minus 1. And yeah, that does work. 2 times negative 2 to the first power is just 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. That gives us our second term. So this, this general term then, b sub n equals 2 times negative 2 raised to the n minus 1 power. And that's one way, just one way to write the general term. There are other ways of writing those. I hope that helps.